One of the best ways to assess students when I was using Google Apps for Education in my classroom was to create a Google Form. Office 365 does offer a survey feature, but you need to add it to an existing site. In this case, I'm going to work with a blog that I created for my class. In order to add that app, I need to first go to my site contents, which is usually located underneath the title of your site. Once there, I'm going to click on add an app. And then I'm going to look through the apps until I see the survey app. I'll click on that. And then I'm going to give my survey a name. In this case, I'm going to be surveying my authors. So I'm going to call it author survey. And then I'll click create. I'm back in my site contents and I'll now click on author survey. This is where I can start to actually design my survey. I can add questions in the settings button. So my first question might be, how often do you get writer's block? I have a number of question options. I might ask my students to fill in a single line of text or perhaps write a small paragraph with the multiple lines. But in this case, I want them to tell me how often they get writer's block and I'm gonna give them a rating scale for that. I can set certain questions to be required as part of the survey as well. So that if I have an optional comments section, I can make that optional as opposed to requiring students to put some text in that box. Because I chose a rating scale, I'm gonna then need to put in a sub question for the different times. And then I'm going to set my ranges. Because I want my students to get off the fence, I'm gonna require that they actually answer in that range as opposed to giving them the not applicable option. One of the more advanced options of site survey is that you can create logic to each of your questions so that if students answer never, I might answer them a follow-up question based on that one selection. We're not gonna get into that quite yet because it's a little bit more advanced. However, there is an option here to create a differentiated survey or differentiated quiz that gives students alternative ways of showing their knowledge um, in the event maybe they feel trapped with a multiple choice question. When we click on finish, that question will be added to our survey. And then we can see that we can uh, test a response to the survey. Our question is showed up properly, as well as our scale system Oops, I noticed I've got a little typo here, so let's go back and modify that question. I'm going to go back to the survey settings. I'm going to click on the actual question, and then the question comes up for me to edit. Now, say that I want to check the permissions for the survey, because again, I don't want you know any old reader to come in, um, perhaps readers from other classes, and take my survey. I just want my survey results. Uh, from the contributors, from the people in my class. So I'm going to check the permissions. And right now my students can only contribute to that survey. Now let's show you what it looks like to take a, to actually make a response. So I'm going to submit a response here. Click on finish to finish that question. Now let's say that I wanted to take a look at the results of my survey. Go back to my survey and click on Actions, and then click on See in a Spreadsheet. But uh-oh, wait, I've got an alert here that tells me that I need Microsoft SharePoint, which is not available on a Mac. There is a workaround, however, to see your results on a Mac. That workaround is to click on Show a Graphical Summary which gives me a breakdown visually of all my responses. And then I can go over to change my view in order to see all of the responses individually according to name. So when I click on my name, I can see exactly what I responded with. Now, when I go back to my homepage, you'll notice that my survey is not showing up on any of the site navigation. In order to solve this issue with the link and to add navigation, check out the next video.